Good morning, mathematicians. We are going to take a look at our math for this week. Okay, here's our slideshow. Um, our learning target for this week is I can multiply a one digit number by a multiple of 10. Our expectations for this week are to watch the mini lesson, complete the daily activities, and complete the problem of the week. So here's another look at our learning objective. And it's written in student-friendly language. I can multiply a one-digit number by a multiple of 10. What is a multiple of 10? A multiple is a number that is a product of a given whole number, in this case 10, and any whole number. So here's some examples of multiples of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. And I know you can keep jumping up on that pattern of plus 10. We can notice here that any multiple of 10 will have a zero in the ones place. What you also might notice is that since all the numbers are multiples of 10, we can rewrite them as a multiplication equation using 10 as a factor. For example, 80 is eight tens or eight times 10. Okay, another way we can say that is 80 is 10 times greater than eight. 120 is 12 tens or 12 times 10. That equals 120. We can say 120 is 10 times greater than 12. So here is um, an equation we're going to look at here. Mr. DeHaan has eaten 70 eggs since the beginning of the year. Whoops, that's a mistake. Mr. Powell has eaten 70 eggs since the beginning of the year. Little did he know, little did I know, that Mr. DeHaan also loves eggs. And Mr. DeHaan has eaten six times as many eggs as I have. How many eggs? Has Mr. DeHaan eaten? So basically this uh, equation that goes with this question is going to be 70 times 6 and that gives us our answer. So first I know that the problem has asked me to solve 70 times 6 in order to figure out how many eggs Mr. DeHaan has eaten. That is a large number but if I know how to solve 7 groups of 6 or 7 times 6 I can make this problem easier for myself. So here's how I do this. 70 times six equals the number of eggs. So instead of writing 70, I wrote this as seven times 10 times six. I know that 70 is a multiple of 10 that is equal to seven ten. So I rewrote the multiplication problem like this. Next, I changed around the order of the problem to make it friendlier for me. To do that, I use the associative property. Okay, so here is what we just went over. 10, 70 times six equals the number of eggs Mr. DeHaan has eaten. Seven times 10 times six equals the number of eggs Mr. DeHaan has eaten. Now I'm gonna use the associative property of multiplication and it also applies to addition. And that tells me it doesn't matter how our um, numbers are grouped, okay? So much of the commutative property. So what I did to make it friendlier or easier for me is I changed the order and I made it seven times six times 10, okay? So let's look how that goes. I multiply seven times six because I know that was a math friendly number. That told me I had seven groups of six, which I know is 42. Now all I have to do is multiply 42 times 10. So I know that my answer for the number of eggs is gonna be 10 times greater than 42. In order to do that, I just moved over a place value or multiplied by 10. 
I solved my equation. I got 420 eggs because I know that when I multiply any number by 10, the number gets 10 times bigger. So 42 times 10 is 420. Okay, we're gonna use this same strategy to solve problems this week. So here's another example. 30 times five equals some product. That's what the X represents. I know that 30 is three groups of 10, right? So in order to solve this and make it math friendlier, I just use the associative property again and I change the order so that instead now I have three times five times 10. I just change the order of these two numbers to make it friendlier. Three times five times 10. I know that three times five is 15 and I can multiply 15 times 10. That will make 15 10 times greater or move over a place value. And my product becomes 15 times 10 becomes 150. All right, mathematicians, thanks again for following along in our math video, and thanks for all your hard work. Keep it up.